morning. This is Robert with Chicken Delights. <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. It's raw, man. I got another one for you. These nurseries really take their time um, with presentation of all the pavers. Just the presentation of the place in general. Looks nice. Easy to find stuff. Not cluttered walking through. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get um, so 90 pieces of sod in my area. That's about a uh, centipede sod comes on 500 square feet per pallet. So I'm getting 90 pieces that puts me right at 225 square feet. Um, 250 feet would actually be a half a pallet. I may just go ahead and get a half a pallet. That's it's better to have more and not fall short and you know not have enough. So I'm gonna get a half pallet of centipede, and with that, I'm also gonna get a uh, a half a yard of compost to put down um only reason i'm getting half a yard of compost is because the area that i'm filling it does have a dip to the point we need to kind of fill that up uh -oh. it does have a a dip that i need to fill in and i know once i get that dip filled in i can usually just uh level the most part of the other compost across the uh the area that I'll be putting the side down in, but yep, yep, I'm gonna get her going. Got it. Awesome, all right, that was seamlessly that worked so smooth. We actually got the uh, the compost and we put it up to the front of the nose of the trailer. First, they dumped it in the kind of in the mid area, and I had to shovel it over with using my man shovel, which is a snow shovel, um, pretty wide, so I did it pretty quick, took like two minutes pushed all the compost forward to the top of the trailer. That way they can put the momentum of the weight right here by the axle and towards the back so it balances out when I'm driving and it's not un un unlevel, like too much weight in the back or too much weight in the front. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and run in here and pay for this and gotta go work. All right guys, so this little project I'm doing, I could have probably charged more for it, but this is one of my long-term customers um, who's been giving me a great amount of business. So I'll look out when I can. The product out of pocket cost me, you see this receipt here, 229 bucks. 229 bucks. That's how much it costs. Um, it's a 500 bucks pro uh, project that I'm doing and I'm estimating it's gonna possibly maybe take me an hour, maybe take me an hour. So I look at it like this. If it take me two hours, my man hour rate is $65 per man hour so 65 times plus 65 that brings us up to 130 bucks in profit so 130 bucks on top of uh 230 i'm gonna say instead of 229 230 that brings me up to uh that's that's estimating if it takes me two hours but i'm gonna be mindful that uh the travel time and stuff like that i'm not gonna get all into that but I'm thinking of what I spent to what I'm about to make because um, those are probably the important pieces of what I'm trying to uh, make sure I, I'm profitable but you guys do the math it's profitable for me all right so this is the before Let's see if all these uh this is gravel driveway um so he want this walkway cleared here there's a bunch of uh of course grass just growing over I'm gonna clear that out so it's just graveled rocks. In this area here, I actually will be filling with sod. As I told you guys, it has a dip here. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it actually goes down just a little bit. So I'm gonna take that yard, half a yard of uh, compost and put it over, smooth it out after I remove all these weeds. Um, and it's gonna cover from here all the way around to about right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. taking a short little break here of course this is a little bit uh manual labor this took me about 10 minutes so far guys it's going to be 200 if i estimate it correctly on my measurements i only measured it by my phone and not my wheel i forgot my wheel 
inside my truck the day I came out. So I measured it by my phone software, an app called uh, Cam to Plan, and it pretty much measured out the square feet uh, virtually um, instead of using an actual manual device. But I took this break to tell you, you're probably like, how is he clearing out those weeds so fast? So this thing here is called a scuffle hoe, action hoe, or you can look it up. They're, they both, you know, depending on where you're at, the name changes. But this thing has like a blade on the back side of it, as you see. And it goes right under the soil and cuts the weed from the root. Um, it's fairly fast. I would never, <laughs> if I had this many weeds to uh, clear, I would never try to pull them by hand because it'll take too much time. So I recommend you get yourself one of these. Um, you can find them at your local uh, hardware store or Lowe's Home Depot. They definitely have them. I'll put a link down in the description. But I'm going to put this phone on the charger before it dies. I'm going to finish up this small area here. I got to clear out this where I started. You hear me breathing hard because I'm working. Hey right, guys, so I finished up that small area there by the steps. Um, I got it pretty cleared out. Take a look at it. If you guys seen the before, it looked pretty much like this here. And now it's smooth. With all those weeds on. I got a little bit, of course, I can get probably close to the wall. Get that little bit of stuff. But all this is pretty much clear. Let me get up this last little bit. I see. This is the position that it was in first. This is all the way down to the dirt, guys. Next step is to go ahead and get this compost off. So I'm going to be working right here. So this is a half a yard of uh, natural organic compost here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this down.
the seams, make sure everything is butted together. Next, I'm gonna probably, uh, I don't have a roller with me, but I'm gonna make sure I water it pretty good. I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting. I'm gonna finish doing this. Got a minute.